Hi, I'm Dr. Sanjay Lugani with Insight Pathology and I'm going to demonstrate to you the proper method of making smears from aspirated material. Uh, the first one is called the smear technique. This technique uh, is demonstrated as follows. It is critical to ensure that the material to be spread is is placed as close to the top of the slide as possible because in this particular technique the right hand which is holding the smearing slide moves across the left hand to make a smear as follows. As you can see it makes a perfect tongue shaped smear. The advantages of this technique is that the aspirated material is spread evenly along the entire uh, length of the uh, the smear with the maximum concentration of the material in the center of the smear, it, it tends to create mono layer of the aspirated material which, which makes for better fixation and better staining characteristics for the cytopathologist. The second technique of making slide is, is, this, is the pull technique. This works best for very bloody specimens. As you can see in this, the material is placed in the middle of the slide and the two slides that are going to be uh, forming a smear are brought in contact with each other. Gentle pressure is applied to the material to spread it and then the slides are pulled apart to make mirror images of the material as you can see on these two slides. This technique provides you material for alcohol fixative slide on the right and a diff quick stain slide on the left. Material is evenly spread out um, as was in the first technique. In this, the material is gently touched with the, the spreader and the two slides are pulled apart to make two smears uh, as you can see in this. This is the least desirable of the three techniques demonstrated in this video. As you can see, there are ridges and valleys created by the material uh, on the two slides which tends to dry the material that is in the valleys and uh, leave the material that is uh, in the ridges as unfixed. So staining characteristics of the material on, on this technique are least desirable for the cytopathologist to, when they are reviewing the slide. As you can see the, the, the slides from the three techniques are laid out here. One on the extreme uh, right is the least desirable technique because as said before it creates valleys and ridges in the material that, uh, that lead to suboptimal fixation of the material and hence the staining characteristics of the cytology material on these slides is suboptimal.